shoot it, man. Shoot it in the head. <laughs> began killing around one person each week by the summer of 1991, he became infatuated with the idea that he could turn his victims into zombies to act as youthful and submissive sexual partners. He used many different techniques, such as drilling holes into their skull and injecting hydrochloric acid or boiling water into their brains. Soon, neighbors began to complain about strange noises and awful smells coming from his apartment. On one occasion, a lobotomized victim left and attended even made it out onto the street to ask several bystanders for help. When he returned, however, he successfully convinced the police that the irrational young man was simply his extremely intoxicated boyfriend. The officers failed to run a background check that would have revealed his sex offender status, allowing him to narrowly escape his fate for a little while longer.
the remains of 11 victims were found in his apartment, evidence recovered there from physical remains to tools used to torture and dismember victims was sent to FBI headquarters for forensic analysis. The Bureau ran DNA profiles, conducted chemical, biological, and tool mark analyses, undertook photographic and computer examinations, and performed other tests on submitted evidence. Bureau agents and analysts also investigated whether he could be linked to unsolved murders in areas where he was known to have lived, including Ohio, Florida, and Germany.